Now finally on March 31st, we receive a $500 utility bill for the month of March, but to conserve cash, SCC has decided not to pay it off until the following month, April 15th. Let's think about what's going on here. We've already used up a service, so there's no future benefit to the utilities we've received. So we've got to indicate that we've used up this service by recording more expense. We've got utilities expense. Now how did we pay for it? Did we already pay the cash? The answer is no, we didn't pay yet. So we owe payment. So we're going to have to say we owe $500 more. So we'll follow this through here. You're going to see that this increase in expenses will decrease net income, which will decrease retained earnings, which will decrease equity. So you see equity is going down, liability is going up, assets not affected at all. Let's do the journal entry. We show that we have more expense. We're going to say utilities expense. We have more of that utility expense, $500 more. When we have more expense, that's a debit entry, as you can see, debit meaning left. And we have more liability. Now, this liability is going to be a payable to the utility company, so we just call it utilities payable. We have more of that liability, $500. The way we show we have more liabilities, as you can see, is to credit the account. Liabilities went up, equity went down, this whole side has a net change of zero, that's why assets are not affected at all. So we've just run through a bunch of journal entries. I hope that you've been able to follow the rationale and the logic. I tell you, one of the things I really enjoyed about accounting was that there was some logic to it. If I could just sit down and think what would make sense, it tended to be the right answer. And that's one thing I really, really enjoyed about accounting. That's the end of Part C on Analyze Transactions and Record Journal Entries. I hope you have your journal entries down now and that you'll do great on the quiz.